Hi there, and welcome back to another episode. I'm Gabriel, and in this episode we're checking out this new exhibition that's about to open here in Uppsala. It's the Van Gogh Alive exhibition, or should we say experience, since it promises to show the works of art on a scale larger than ever before. And I'm really interested in knowing and finding out if this could be the future of art exhibitions. Let's go inside and find out. But first, let's have a quick recap on Vincent van Gogh. Vincent van Gogh grew up in a small village in the Brabant region of the southern Netherlands. He was described as a quiet, serious and self-contained young man who spent his free time wandering the countryside. Unfortunately, in love, work and friendship, he was unsuccessful and in combination with his poor mental health, this led to a gloomy view of the world and deep loneliness. He started a new chapter in his life at 27, when he was encouraged to take up painting. In this, he found his true calling in life and a fresh motivation. A lot is known about his personal life in this new chapter, thanks to the lengthy and moving correspondence with his brother Theo. Although he had found a purpose in painting, he continued to be plagued by severe mental troubles, which sparked conflicts and had him institutionalized for long periods. At age 37, tragedy struck, when he died from a gunshot wound, believed to have been self-inflicted. However, this is disputed. Needless to say, his paintings belong to the world's most beloved and highly valued works of art, but at the time of his death, Vincent was poor and considered a deranged failure. All right, I hope you enjoyed that short bio. Now, let's check it out. The technical platform, called Sensory 4, is a system that combines multi-channel motion graphics, cinema quality surround sound and up to 40 high-definition projectors to provide the room with a cohesive art experience. Basically, the whole exhibition shows the same one theme at a time, unlike a conventional exhibition that will show different themes in different parts of the exhibition. Is this the future of art exhibitions? It certainly feels that way. I can also see this as an eye-opener for someone who normally couldn't see themselves going to an art gallery. Well, I spent about an hour in there and I can safely say that I've never seen anything quite like it and I highly recommend it to anyone. And by the way, the experience in real life is much better than what you saw in this video. Let me know in the comments how you feel about this art experience and, while you're down there, hit the like button and, why not, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care!